Welcome to Future Focus. I'm your host, Steva Dion Carriter. And my guest tonight is Marcus Lee <laughs> Stevenson. And I have to say it like that because when I met him, he broke it down like that. And yeah, because your mother was like, make sure you get the Lee in there. So yes. I was making sure I add the Lee in there. So how are you doing? Doing good. Busy, but good. Good. Yeah. Good. So you have to tell us why you are in New Orleans. Uh, I went and had lunch today at Willie Mays, so yeah, it was good. <laughs> but I'm really, here. what did you have? Um, well, actually, I had some friends. I had them eat, eat some butter beans. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh, butter beans. Butter butter beans. Mm -hmm. but we actually here to do a stage play called "Tell It to Your Next Wife." It's based on a, what a man version of a Proverbs 31 woman is to him. Right. So yeah, and we're gonna be at McAllister Auditorium this Saturday at 7 p.m. at Tulane University. So we're proud to be here, and definitely gonna come back. So, yeah. Definitely, yes, definitely. Yeah. And you are the playwright. Yeah, playwright, director, uh, one of the producers. Wow. Yeah. So, it's, it's so work. as a kid, did uh, you um, did you write a lot? Did you was this like your passion? Like for no, forever? No, as a kid, I was like a computer geek. I was oh. into electronics and stuff, and I got into poetry later in my teenage years. And um, acting really didn't come into play till got a little older. Really? Yeah. yeah so um, about the play. So tell me a little bit about it. It's the play is about how man can endure so much. You know, living with in-laws. He just got just got married, so he's he's dealing with different issues, but he's still trying to stay prayerful and with everything that he believe in. And but there's a thing that his wife attitude is like blood is thicker than marriage. So it's basically where Jock character. He's a hard-working man, and he's doing everything by the book, so to say. But still, he's just getting pushed down, pushed around, not only by his wife, but by his mother-in-law, his cousin, you know, his brother-in-law. So he's he get to a point where he's getting ready to crack, but he's just like, he's like, Lord, I just, you need to give me something here. You know, I'm doing everything. Why, why do I deserve this? Right, you know, so right. yeah. And so the cast is very diverse. Yes. And um, was that your intention or? Yeah, actually it was, it came about to the point where I say the world is diverse. So it's not all about what color shade you are. Right. It's, it's about unity or ununity. So I, I, I bring it to make it real because we have different uh, relationships, different style, different colors. So I want to bring something that people themselves can relate to. They can relate to anybody, no matter what color you're from, where you're from, or anything like that. Right, and I think that's great here because mm -hmm. um, New Orleans is not really like diverse um, relationship-wise. Oh, wow. Um, you very seldom see like um, an interracial couple in New Orleans so I think that that's going to be um, it's a very good thing to mm -hmm. come here because when you go to major cities you know like people are ve it's very diverse you know wow. so I think that that's a really um, great thing um, and that's only something that I've noticed you know going okay. to larger cities so I think that that's really really great and this is like a great time for um, diversity in um, theater productions because we don't yeah. really see that too much yeah. So yeah. that's, that's well, like I a did, great see, thing. I, I, didn't, I didn't know New Orleans wasn't diverse. I just, yeah, I just I mean, said we're well, just Yeah, this is the South, like man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like still like the old South. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, okay. Um, so I think that's going to really be um, just a thing right there for people to go and witness. And, um, and the cast is like a large cast, yeah, right? Yeah. We have uh, 12 actors. Wow. Wonderful, beautiful actors. We have um, actually like... Eleven of them are actually from New Orleans. Wow, so yeah, we really? have, yeah, I try to and the reason is I wanted to cast New Orleans because I wanted you know, any city I go to I wanna give back and that's right. why I'm giving back is giving local actors opportunity to shine, you know, because I know there's a lot of I've I've been an actor, so I know there's a lot of, you gotta start at it background, so, but you, you are an actor, you're like, I just need a shot, I just right, need somebody to give me an right. opportunity. So I try to bring that vessel to say, you know, if you can read, I can teach you how to act. Right. You know, so, you know, giving, giving people the opportunity, because somebody gave me an opportunity, so and that's how I get my blessings, is to keep right, asking them out. Right, and that's what it's about, like, yes. giving, and then, you know, just meeting different people, and different people yeah. um, are so talented, and yes. people here, oh my God. It's multi-talented. Yes, the yeah. The jazz, the music, right. it's, um, it's, it's a blessing to be here, i put it that way. Yeah. yeah. Definitely wow. a blessing to be here. So we're going to have to definitely meet some of the cast. Um, yes. 
after a break and um, so wow so how many productions have you written um, I have three more I have one called stop you not a stop you not a player yet uh, I got the other one called uh, stop you're not my my husband yet which is based off it's like the second part of tell to your next wife okay. and um, and then there's another called stand by player and so I, I love writing I have a book out too called the complexity of love you know, so I, I love the logistics of writing. Uh -huh. Is writing is an appeasement for me. It helps oh. me relax. It yeah. well, if I'm stressed, I'm gonna write. I'm gonna type. I'm gonna do something. Yeah, you know, write oh, about nice. it, talk about it. And yeah, stuff. I can relate to that. Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> hey, it, it's good. It's good. Yeah, so that's like really, really great. So you guys are touring the South. Is this yes. like a Southern tour? Yeah. Um, and how long have you been touring? Uh, this is actually this is our uh, stepping stone here. Is wow. New Orleans, and also we're giving away. Uh, I believe three three pair of Hornet tickets. Uh, we got Hornets. The New Orleans Hornets is one of the sponsors. We're going to give away some tickets during intermission and at the end of the show as well. Um, we have good intermission. Right. Um, so we we have people that New Orleans need to come out and check it out. We no, we have tickets online. We have them uh, at yournextwife.eventbrite.com as well as you know people can buy them at the door as well. Okay. You know, so it's something for everybody. It's a family oriented place. So you if you got a baby you can bring. If you got a you know, you don't have to worry about covering the ears up. So yeah. It's yeah. it's real relaxing. Yeah, I'm bring good. the baby when the baby's sleeping. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, I'll sleep uh, yeah, <laughs> <top dog. laughs> Yeah, so wow, I can't wait. Um just looking at the flyer is like oh, yeah. so nice. Thanks. And they have like all these people and I just can't wait. And it's mm -hmm. really good to see that there's um just like another man to add yeah. <laughs> to theater, you know? Yeah. So um, that's like really, really great yeah. for um, men to be into theater. Because oh, yeah. you guys have like a whole nother eye yeah. from just just well, a, and um, I wanted, and I didn't act in this one because I wanted to get behind the scenes and focus on the acting, right. be on the directing and the producing, and, and the concentrate on the writing side. And but I've, I've been out there on, you know, which is I love it. But I said, you know, you have to give back too. Right. So I said, well, let me get some people in here that that's hungry. Right. And in this business, you know, you have to be hungry. If you ain't, oh God, if you, you ain't have to love hungry, it. You ain't gonna hungry. You don't have that passion for right. it. It's gonna come across stage. And I tell all my actors all the time. Um, Whatever your character is, uh, when you're on stage, if your family there, let them not know that's you. Become become that character. Right. And if you have to be a method actor and stuff like that, so so we have some a great talented cast, and I'm very wow. proud to say that as a director and a writer. Yeah, I can't you know, wait to see you know, who's you know, in the yeah. production oh, that gonna, I know. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. You're you gonna love <laughs> I it. I have to know someone in there, at oh, least one person. Oh, you know a couple of them. If, yeah. you, if you're from New Orleans, you gonna know a couple of them. It's right. it's a surprising cast. It's a wonderful cast. Right. So what? So the people from New Orleans, man, is this like a different vibration from just, yeah, they're, just they're, people? They they are excited. Uh, a lot of them done some stuff. I think on Treme, you know, a lot of them work with different film, film companies and stuff as well, like behind the scenes. But it's like, hey, and I tell them, this is your Oscar winning moment, right. so own it, you know. Right. And I tell them all the time, it don't matter if your role is small, you got a one liner, or you got a whole script, you know, make it become you, you know. Right. That's that's your moment. Spotlight it. Right. So, so you guys, um, you know, if someone were interested in, um, I, I'm just saying you probably do auditions or whatever, yeah. but um, oh, yeah. do you have any advice for anyone who wants, you know, who would want to get into theater? One, I would tell people, make sure that's what you want to do. But the only way you're going to know that's what you want to do is to try it out. Right. Because you can't say, well, I'm not good at it. Who knows? Right. You know, I know people who took an acting classes, people who have not taken act acting classes. Right. Some of them are the ones who take acting classes because it's a naturalism. Right. So you don't have to be saying, I'm going to go to school for it, but at the same time, it's good. It, what acting classes teaches you is teach you structure, teach you foundation, and teach you how to become that other person as well. So do you run across a lot of raw talent? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, it's just, a lot of times you can see it. You, really? just, you, you can have a conversation with a person. You'd be like, you know, man, I can, well, I can put you in something, you know, because they just, it's yeah. natural. And you can tell a lot about a person just in general conversation. Right. Because yeah. I oft, often wonder about that, you know, like yeah. um, all the casting directors yeah. or just people who write productions. Are you like in your car and you see somebody passing, like, oh my gosh, she could well, really be in something. Yeah, that, <laughs> I, I tell people a lot of times, we, we have general conversation and I say, hey, be careful, I'm a writer, you know, I mean, wrote a script about what we're talking about. Oh, don't just, I know. Just, just take it out. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
Yeah. Yeah. Said, you, know, you give me a one line, I'm gonna, I said, I got a title now, so let me just right. really just put it. Put yeah, because having written some books, people are like, so where am I in here? Yeah. You know, and it's like, people, they, you know, some people yeah. don't really notice that it's a gift. They yeah. think that we yeah, just change the can't name. really like make up. But we do <laughs> yeah. make up things. Yeah, it's like you have to be creative. They can give you one line, but you, right. but you have to add so many. But right. you have to be creative, a creative person to do that. Right. And there's a lot of us out there. Yes. And creativity. And so you have a celebrity um, that's going to be at the production as yeah, well. Yeah, I have uh, Marcus D. Spears, which is a good friend of mine, played a uh, professional ball for um, Minnesota Vikings, uh, Kansas City, and Chicago Bears. You know, and he's a uh, hometown. I say hometown. He's from Baton Rouge. You know, it's like neighbors. So. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, he he know how to taste uh, the New Orleans food as well. So yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So did you have any seafood at all? Um, I I had some probably a couple of weeks ago. Oh, but okay. I I be so busy. Some is you know when you especially crunch wheat, you like right. you have to ask mind, did I eat? Did I eat? Right. Uh, I said well, I just grabbed me a bottle of water, uh, some right. cereal or something like that. Yeah. I definitely you know? understand. Yeah. Do you yeah. like? Oh man, they get yeah, nothing yet. Yeah. Then it's too late. Everything closed. You look in the refrigerator like. Gonna let that thought out, so yeah. you know. I Cause you know, people morning. don't realize that the easy part is on the stage. Yeah, the hard part is just everything that goes on before you before. get on the stage, the rehearsal and the, yeah. you know, the, being that, in, the whole in dynamics of it. Yeah, 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 real good. <laughs> Stage presence and yes. all that kind of there stuff. You say it again. Yeah, stage, stage presence. Say it again so they can hear it. Say <laughs> stage what? Yeah, that's what I tell Stage presence. Yeah, I only know that. I yeah. did like some musical theater, so mm. yeah. Cool. So it's like really, it's a lot of work, but okay. it's really rewarding. Who's, so, a, um, who's, who's our in, intermission person? Oh my gosh. So people, yeah, put it I that. am intermission. <laughs> I'm going to be singing for intermission, yes. so I expect to see you guys there, right? Because yeah. Diva's going to be singing. Gonna um, be I'm going to be doing my thing, and um, yeah, we're going to yeah. come out with some great stuff tonight. Oh, yeah. I'm actually going to rehearsal tonight, yeah. yeah. So get that voice right. <laughs> yeah, get my voice right. Yeah, I'm yeah. ready. Yeah. Okay. So definitely, I can't wait um, just to check out the production, meet mm -hmm. the cast, and you know, yeah, see what I'm going to sing and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Cause you know I was born in some shoes with a microphone. That's what I always say. Yeah, cause you you're from New Orleans, right? <laughs> yes. Say that. What's, what's that famous word? You say baby. Ba oh my God! I don't say baby though. Yeah, like baby. you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They always say baby, baby. I know. Like, yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> so that's everyone says yeah. that. Yeah. Everyone says that. Yeah. That's like our famous line. Yeah. That and yes, indeed. I'll be finding myself. Yes, indeed. Oh yeah. I say, yes, indeed. I'm I say that all yes, the time. Indeed. Yeah. Yes. Somebody yes, asked me, "Are you gonna get some gas?" Yes, indeed. Yeah. You know? So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you having a good time in New Orleans? Oh, loving it. Learning the lingo and yeah, all that stuff and awards yeah. and. The good places to eat right there's nothing but food here yeah it's good so you have to be careful yeah well i, I try to walk about two miles a day and oh, yeah. so i try to oh my gosh more shape. power to you yeah, yeah with yeah. um with the snowball right you have you had a snowball no oh my gosh you i have just, to go to I, just, I just learned what a beignet was what a couple of weeks ago some of, and some of my like executive producers dorian lynn they was telling me they said beignet i'm like what's a beignet we went and ate and they said, well, we'll get you a beignet. I'm thinking, okay, what's well, a beignet? Right. They say, you in New Orleans want a beignet? Shame on you, Because that's the first place yeah. you go, like yeah. to Cafe Du Monde. I didn't know. In the French Quarter. Yeah. yeah. You know, but from it's Texas, so hot yeah. now. So you, you know, you have to go like late night, one o'clock in the morning. I'm not sure if they stay open all night. Yes. These days. Yeah. yeah. One way to that late. <sighs> yeah, you don't yeah. want to. Yeah. But you know, you get up in the morning and walk in the hot sun and it's 85 degrees at yeah. 9 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, you but it's, it's like good. work it off. So when people say it's hot here to me, I'm from, from Texas, so it's like I some outside walking, but I'm not sweating, so I'm good. Right. You know, if I'm start sweating, I'm like, now nah, it's hot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so we're gonna um, come back. We're gonna take a break, and we're gonna meet the cast. I can't beautiful wait. Cast, wonderful cast. Yes, yeah. the beautiful, wonderful cast, and we're gonna find out who's from New Orleans. That's in the studio tonight. So yeah. we'll be right back. Cool. So. <laughs> 